Welcome to Outlaw Edge. So this is uh, our truck right here. And today, our last couple days, it started making a bunch of noise with the U-joints. So that's what I'm doing today. But I finished up one of my projects I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm exhausted. <laughs> my butt's dragging. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to get this put back together tonight. Heidi's picking up parts right now, so <clears throat> we'll see what happens. So... Um, this is what I've been working on. I had all my hammers, my body hammers sitting right here and they were on top of the toolbox and stuff and I got tired of them being right there and tired of them being all over the shop and everything else. I wanted some way to organize them. And for the last couple of years, I've been trying to think of some way to do it. So I'll go ahead and back up and I'll show you what I did. <clears throat> I set up a kind of a wall where I have all my fabrication stuff in here and it worked out really good. And then the hammers, it's super nice because you, you grab a hammer and you're done, you just sit like that, let go of it, and it falls right into place. All of them do that. <clears throat> and it works out really nice. And I got all the hammers set in here that, I, that you know, my most used. And then you can see on the sides, I have like stuff like this. Sorry about the sunlight in here. It's kind of bright in the spot that I'm at. And then uh, I have my body files right here. There's a bunch of those there with the new files. Um, this is my shaping hammer. I use this for my beater bag. And then uh, I have special tools that I use for folding like fender lips and stuff over. And I use these center punches. If you guys don't have a set of these, you gotta get some. I mean, when you're doing fabrication, these are amazing. And uh, um, an old guy here in town gave me a big old pile of these. And these are like the old, military style or something they're really old and and uh just amazing awesome tools um this daikin fluid i use when i'm uh doing uh using the body files you put the blue dye all over the fenders or hoods or whatever you're doing and then when you're shaping the metal or or uh you want to get it to a certain point you know when you want a metal shape uh metal finish the, the panel you use this body file and then it'll show you the highs and lows this is what this fluid right here does um, these are Delrin, Delrin uh, plastic. Um, these are caulking tools or corking tools. Um, they're called all kinds of different, I've heard them called all kinds of different things. But these are used like if you're shaping metal and you hammer them into corners and stuff like that. And, and there's a whole bunch of different, there's like half rounds and rounds and all kinds of, I made these, well, a buddy of mine helped me make these a while back. Sorry about that, got interrupted. Um, anyways, all my fab tools that I use, I'll put those up there and hang them on there um, pretty soon on this rack. But uh, the hammer mounts, this is that aluminum stuff that they use like in trailers on diesel trucks and storage containers or whatever. It's aluminum. And all I did was uh, notch it. I realized how hard it You know, set it up so that the hammers will sit up there. And, and then uh, I got all my favorite dollies here. And then I got these guys at Harbor Freight a while back. Nice for making shapes. I have Clicos and a deburring tool, more dollies. And uh, I got this guy at, uh, for uh, doing tuck shrinking. You just stick it on the metal and bend it. Handy tool. And uh, this is one of my favorite dollies also. And then uh, I got the hammer that Kevin made me, and then some other hammers. These are all my favorites. so. I like to keep it all on this now, so it's nice to have it on this rack. <clears throat> and then uh, uh, more body files and all my slapper hammers are right here. I got a whole collection of them. And then my wood mallet. I use this all the time, throwing metal. And <laughs> spuds that <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty. Beautiful. Get the hell out of here. So I got Heidi and Spud and Melissa in here hanging out, giving me a bad time. It's been Bad a fun time. night though. Yeah, that's all you guys we ever do. We just got my truck yeah. fixed, finally. Yeah, you got Everybody's this, you got dirty. this cool hammer rack, and now I'm going to get a glass case and put one hammer in it on my toolbox. Spud was telling me he wants the, the space right here. He wants a picture of him in there so I can look at it every day. That's right. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> This guy here is uh, for taking out dents, and uh, it's a 
Oh my gosh, you guys got me sidetracked and I can't even think. <laughs> I'm gonna spot hammer you in a minute. But anyways, uh, turned out really good. I'm really happy with it. So it'd be nice, you know, now you can just walk in and grab hammers and do your work and put them right back. And they're all nice and organized or whatever. So, and all I used was a two by six and uh, some MDF or uh, you know, the particle board crap. <clears throat> and I wanted to get this done before they put the tin on the on the walls. But then this this uh, toolbox here, I keep all my fab gear, you know, fab stuff, shape checkers, you know, for che checking different shapes and whatever, and you know, tape measures and whatever, levels and all kinds of different stuff, different tools. Don't really care for this toolbox, so it's nice to have it right here. <clears throat> Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.